In preparation for selecting your courses next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes beginning with the class of 2019 and beyond. Teachers, please distribute the graduation requirements handout. The graduation requirement handout is a Xerox copy of the inside of the actual graduation requirements brochure. Please refer to the table on the left that outlines the various requirements for graduation. To the right of the table, is an explanation of the various certificates a student is able to obtain beyond the basic high school diploma. We will now go over all the different parts separately. Referring to the table on the left, English is the first category. A student must earn four total credits, which must specifically include English Language Arts 1, 2, and half credit in an expository writing course. This expository writing half credit requirement can be fulfilled with a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English, or Early College English 100. The remaining 1.5 credits will be earned through your 11th and 12th grade English classes, for a total of 4. Assuming you pass your English class every year, you should earn all 4 credits. If you fail a course, you will need to retake that course, which means doubling up in the next or subsequent years. Social Studies also requires four credits, with specific credits earned in World History, one credit, U.S. History, one credit, Modern History of Hawaii, half credit, and Participation in Democracy, half credit. As seniors, there are several Social Studies elective courses to choose. Once again, failure to earn a Social Studies credit in any one year will result in taking two Social Studies courses in the next year or so. Only three credits are required for math, two of which must be Algebra 1 and Geometry. If you are planning to attend college, you should take a fourth year of math as a placement test will be given upon entry into college. Science requires only three credits as well, with one being in Biology. Once again, if you are planning to attend college, it is strongly recommended that you take a fourth science course in your senior year. In this next category, you must earn two credits in any one of the following categories. World Language, Fine Arts, Career and Technical Education, otherwise known as CTE, or in JROTC. In World Language, two credits in a single World Language must be earned. Credits must be taken in sequence with consecutive course numbers in the study of one language. For example, Earning credits in Spanish 1 and Spanish 2, not Spanish 1 and Japanese 1. In Fine Arts, two credits must be earned in the following disciplines. Visual Arts, like Photography or Ceramics. Music, like Band or Guitar. Drama or Dance. Credits do not need to be in a single discipline. In CTE, two credits need to be in a single career pathway program of study, like Public and Human Services Pathway, and Culinary 1. JROTC is fulfilled with two years of JROTC. One credit in PE is obtained with half credit in PEP 1005, or 9th grade PE, and a half credit in a basic PE elective like PEP 1010, or 10th grade PE, swimming, physical fitness, etc. Weight training and team sports count as electives. They do not meet the PE graduation requirement. Health Today and Tomorrow, taken in your 10th grade year, fulfills the half credit in health. The half credit for your PTP is earned upon successful completion of your PTP. A senior failing to turn in his or her PTP will not be awarded a high school diploma and not participate in the graduation ceremony. This year, the class of 2021 must turn in their PTPs at the end of the fourth quarter. Upon doing this, as seniors, you will be able to concentrate on college and scholarship applications and the FAFSA, which opens on October 1st. Lastly, six credits must be earned in elective courses. Elective courses are all courses not listed above. Every year, a student is required to enroll in seven classes. Assuming one passes all of the classes every year, after four years, a student will earn 28 credits. Remember, 24 specific credits are the minimum requirements for graduation. In order to be promoted to the next grade, 
A ninth grader must earn a minimum of five credits. A tenth grader, eleven credits, and an eleventh grader, seventeen credits. Beyond the basic high school diploma, students who have a cumulative GPA or of three point zero or above have the option of earning three different honors recognition certificates: academic honors, CTE honors, or the STEM honors. Be sure to read the requirements specific to each certificate. What's next? In the coming STARS classes, you will be analyzing a transcript in order to understand the process, so you can make informed class choices to keep on track for graduation. You'll also be receiving the 2020 to 2021 school year registration guide. You'll also be selecting your classes for the next school year and obtain teacher signatures, and when turning in your official registration form to your STARS teacher. Remember, if you have any questions regarding your credits, please see your counselor immediately.